here I am at the beautiful Jersey Shore. I'm in a nice dry place, so that's great. Uh, if you see in front of me this debris, that's the high tide line. So if I stay here all day and the tide comes in, I'll still be dry. But climate change is supposed to make sea level go up. So the question is, if I come back here 80 years from now, where do I put my towel to stay dry? To show you what might happen, I've waded out into the ocean. You can see the water comes about halfway up to my knees. But 80 or 90 years from now, climate scientists say that sea level could be about three feet higher. Maybe more, maybe less, but that's the best estimate right now. So let's see what that would look like. Okay, imagine I'm standing in the very same spot and look where the water is. I might just have to get a different kind of beachwear. There are two main reasons why sea level is going to rise. I'll draw it out for you. Here's the land, then the ocean, back up to the land. Sea level, and you know it's the sea because I'm standing in it. All right, the first main reason is that as water gets warmer, it expands. It just gets bigger. So for that reason alone, sea level goes up. So you now I'm in a little deeper. Second main reason is that in places like Antarctica and mainly Greenland, glaciers flow gradually into the sea. But as the world gets warmer, water melts in the summer and pours into the ocean. And the glaciers themselves flow faster. And so that leads to big chunks of ice entering the ocean and melting at a greater rate than they were before. And that also leads to sea level rise. All right, you've all seen what happens when you leave a glass of ice water or soda out and the ice melts. It doesn't rise up and overflow because the ice is already in the water. It's already in the soda. Um, so it doesn't add to the volume. Uh, now, let's say this is the ocean, and that's the sea ice. If the sea ice melts, nothing happens to the level. But if glaciers start to drop into the ocean, pieces of glaciers, watch what happens. See? It's overflowing. This is kind of fun, but don't try it at home. You'll get in trouble. And so that's the difference between sea ice and glacier ice. That's what's going to happen to the ocean. So if the sea level just rises three feet, that means at high tide, the water's going to be up there at the boardwalk. And if a wave comes along, it's going to go right over the boardwalk. And if it's stormy, forget it. So I think that 80 years from now, I'm just going to stay home.